Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In the last video we created our custom user model. Now went ahead and also registered our model so that we can access on it on the admin panel or our admin dashboard. So in this video we're going to look at how to create our order model as well as to customize our admin model. So what I'm going to do is to go to our order application. So I'm going to go to orders and within models.py we're going to write our order application. Now I'm going to open up my documentation for the orders we created. So I created them using draw.io. I'm going to open the diagram. Which is this. So just like you can see here, we created a simple documentation of our of how we want our model to be. Now we're going to be implementing the order table. So what I'm going to do is to create our model. So I'm going to create a class. And this is going to be a class of order. So this class is going to inherit from models dot model. And the first thing we're going to do is to put the, into consideration the relationship between the user as well as the order table. So one thing we can see here is that we have a one-to-many relationship between the users and the orders. So that means a user can have very many orders. So what we're going to do is to import our user model. So Django gives us the gives us a very important a function called the get user model that can help us to access our user model even without having to call that same user model so to do that we are going to import that get user model so what i'm going to do is to say from django dot contrib dot auth so we're going to go dot contrib dot auth we are going to import the get user model and after importing the get user model, then we're going to create a user class using the get user model. So right here I'll say that our user is going to be equal to get. So we're just going to call a get user model function. So I'm going to say get user model. And right after doing that, then we're going to first create a field for a customer. So a customer is going to be that person who is going to create um, a an order so we shall say that our customer is going to be equal to uh, models dot foreign key so in this case uh this is going to be foreign key the first thing we have to specify is the model to which this is a foreign key to so this is going to be a foreign key to the user model and then you have to specify that when we delete what happens so when we delete an order or when we delete a user we expect that the orders attached to that specific user are also deleted so to specify that we are going to say on on delete And this is going to be equal to models dot cascade. So right after doing that, we're going to also write other fields. So the first thing we're going to do is to specify our order sizes. So I'm going to come and say, call this field a uh, size. And this is going to be a uh, models dot character field so this is going to be models dot character field which is the same thing as a string field then we're going to specify the max length so in this case we're going to have our max length so i'll set our max length as 20 so basically give it 20 and then i'll say that this is not going to be now so this by default this is not going to be now and it's also going to be choices so right here we have the different choices you have small medium large and extra large so the way Django handles choices is that we create a tuple. Uh, that tuple has the different keys and the different values for whatever uh, size we may have. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to create the tuple. I'm going to call it sizes. And then this sizes is going to be a tuple. So this tuple is going to contain the various sizes of our pizza. So the first thing we're going to do is to add the small. So I'm going to give a key of small. And then we're going to access small by by setting the value as small. So I'm going to do the same thing for medium. I'm going to do the same thing for large. So this is going to be uh, large. 
and I'm going to do the same thing for extra large. So this is going to be extra extra large. And right after doing this, then I'll come and specify that our choices. So this is going to be choices. So our choices is going to be equal to our sizes. And right after doing that, I'll go ahead and do the same thing for our order statuses. Now here I have pending in transit and delivered. So I'll come right here and specify. So I'll come and say that our order statuses. So I'm going to call this order statuses. And actually, let me just call it order status. So right here, the first thing we're going to have is pending. So we shall have pending. And then we're also going to have, uh, this is going to be, uh, in transit, so we're going to call this in transit. This is going to be in transit. Then we're also going to have uh, delivered, so I'm going to set this to delivered. Now, after doing that, then we're going to do the same thing. So I'll come and say uh, order status is going to be equal to models dot character field we're going to specify our max length as 20 then we also give the choices as our order status now after doing this we're going to also specify our quantity so i'm just going to come right here and say quantity is going to be equal to models dot integer integer field now one thing we forgot here to do is to specify the default for these uh, choices so what I'm going to do is to come and provide a default now in this case we expect the default to be the small size so I'll say default is going to be equal to so we're going to access the first choice which is going to be our uh, small so the way we access our uh, values within tuples is similar to how we access them in lists so we use indices so what I'm going to do is to come and say this is going to be sizes and then we shall have to access the first the first size and then access the value of that first size. So I'll do the same thing for order statuses. So I'll come right here, and what I'll do is to say that the default, so I'm just going to minimize this so that we can be able to see. So we're going to set the default as, so in this case, our default is going to be order status. zero and then we shall also set this to zero meaning that our first order status is going to be pending so by default we expect our order status to be pending so what i'm going to do is to also create this created at so created at is just going to be a date time field so i'll say created sorry for this so this is going to be created at and this is going to be models models dot date so this will be models dot date time field and then what i'll specify is auto now at equals true so this means that every time we create an order it's going to track the time at which you created that order so also say updated at so this is going to keep track of wherever we shall update an order so this is going to be models dot date time field and then i'll specify auto now equal to true now the difference between auto now add and auto now is auto now add is called every time we create an object while auto now is create is, is called every time uh, we update an object so i'll go ahead and also create our function that's basically going to define how we get string representations of our model object so i'll say def so this is going to be str and shall say self then simply just going to return an f string so this f string is going to contain uh, the information about an order so we shall say in this case what we want to return is going to be uh, order so in this case we just want to return the, the size so I'll say order size uh, by so in this case what I'll do is to say uh, so I'll say self dot a uh, customer dot id so after doing this we're going to save and the first thing we're going to do is to create a database migration for this so i'll stop our server and say python 3 manage.py 
and then what I'm going to do is to create our migration. So in this case, I'm going to say create make migrations. Sorry for that. And then I'll specify the app for which we're going to make this migration. So this is going to be our orders app. So this is going to create our migration. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to write this migration to our database. So I'll come and say Python 3 manage.py and then migrate. So this is going to go ahead and write our order model to our database. Now the next thing we're going to do is to register our model with our admin interface. So I'm going to come and so let me first close this. And after closing this, I'm going to head over to our files and then I'll go to admin.py within our orders app. So what I'm going to do is to come right here and the first thing we're going to do is to register our admin dashboard. Now, for the previous video, we went ahead and registered our user model in the admin, but it did not carry out uh, different customizations on how we are going to use our admin. Now, the good thing about our admin panel within Django is that it's very nice that we can customize it to our needs. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can customize our order model on our admin. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is to import our order model. So I'll say from dot models, I'm going to import our order. Sorry for that. So it's going to be our order. And after doing that, then we're going to go ahead and register it with our admin. So the first thing we're going to do is to call the ad, admin dot register. So we're going to decorate a class of our order admin. And then we go ahead and specify the different customizations. So the first thing I'm going to do is to say at admin dot register. And then I'm going to specify the model that you're going to register. So in this case, I'm going to call our order model. And after doing that, then what I'm going to do is to write our class. So in this case, we're going to create our class. I'm going to call it our order admin. So every time we want to uh, create our custom admin, then you're going to create a class that's going to inherit from admin dot model model admin. And as long as we have uh, decorated that class with admin dot register then we can go ahead and create the different customizations for a specific uh, object so what i'll do is to come right here and the first thing i'm going to specify is the list display so the list display is the list of fields that you may want to show on our admin interface so if i say that the fields that you want to display so i'll go to models.py and let's say i want to uh, display the size the order status and the quantity so i'll come right here and say we want to display the size uh the order status so i'll come and say order status and the quantity so let's say we also want to uh, display the, actually, let's first uh, display this. So when I save this, uh, we're going to run our server again with Python manage.py, run server. So when you head over to our Chrome, right here, when I refresh, we are going to have our orders as well added to our admin section. So when I go to our orders, I'm going to create a new order. So I'll come and create a new order. So I'll come, specify the customer as the admin user. So by default, our sizes are small and by default, our order statuses are pending. So I'll say that our, our sizes is small and our, in this case, our order status is going to be, let's say, pending. So it's, let's say we specify the quantity as true. So when I save this, right now we can see that the fields we specified, the size, the order status and the quantity are the ones that are displayed on our admin dashboard. So this is good as we can go ahead and customize. So let's add one field. So let's say we want to also specify the date we created. So I can say created at and save. So when I save this, a server is running. So when I refresh, uh, we can see that our created at date has also been added. So let's go ahead and add another customization. So in this case, you may also want to have uh, fields that you may use to filter. So, for example, you may filter by order size, filter by uh, the order status. So to do that, we're going to use our list filter. 
so that this filter is also a field of those things that we may want to use to filter our order so for example we may say created at as well as let's say uh we may also say we may want to filter by order status and let's say we want to also filter by uh our size so let's say we want to get the size of the pizza so in excel and refresh in this case we see that our list filter has been created so we have filter by created at filter by order status as well as filter by the different sizes we have so let's go ahead and create some order so when i add some more order so the customer is going to be the admin since we don't have any other users so let's say we have the size as medium let's say we have delivered so let's say the quantity is 12 if i save this then let's say i add another one so if i say the user is that let's say in this case it's large and let's say it's in transit so let's say the quantity is 34 so in a save now we have different uh orders different orders here so we can go ahead and filter them by let's say the date created so let's say filter by those that were created today so this will return only all of them since they were created today so let's say if we filter by the past seven days so this basically won't work because there are no ones that we created by the last seven days so let's say i wanted to filter by pending so if i went and say pending we'll only get the pending order so let's say we wanted to get that one in transit then you return that one in transit if i say delivered so this is going to return the one with the order status of delivered so let's say i wanted to filter by let's say the size so i can filter by medium and this is going to return the medium so if i say small then since we don't have any small app uh, size it's going to return zero orders so if we say let's say we want to specify large and extra large uh so it basically does the work as we want it so if can also as well say clear all filters and that will go ahead and clear all filters so in, in this video we've been able to create our order model as well as to customize our admin dashboard so the first one thing that we forgot in the previous video is to go ahead and specify our object so i'll get to our authentication uh, app and go to models so we created our custom user manager as well as our user model one thing that we forgot is to specify how our user objects are going to be created so to do that we just call objects and then we say that that is going to be equal to our custom user manager so i'm going to come and say it's going to be custom user manager So right after doing that, then we can successfully create, create our users using our custom user manager. So in this video, we've been able to uh, create our order model as well as to uh, customize our orders, our orders on the admin dashboard. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, do not forget to comment on what you feel about this video. Uh, help me by subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.